Marcus Brown is one of the few of the people in Westminster that have reached out their goals and went to professional basketball, not only in the United States, but also overseas in Europe. And I'm thrilled today to do a documentary on him because not only is he a professional basketball player and one of the people in West Memphis that don't go out to do many things, but he's also my cousin. I was a young kid from West Memphis, Arkansas, and hey, I was, you know, used to cornbread and beans, and next thing I know, I'm making a lot of money doing something, you know, shooting an orange ball in the basket. I ended up going to France my first year, and man, was, you know, ended up winning three championships, and, the, you know, the rest is history, so I like to think it was divine intervention. I mean, like, some of this stuff is, you know, I can't explain it. This is one of those guys that can be the absolute I try to inspire other kids that they can make it. That's why I'm back home. Life, I think there are people that are born. They just have this keen sense, this phenomenal gift where it's just embedded in them. And for me, it was, it was basketball. I mean, I started... I have pictures when I was playing with a basketball at age one, age two, you know, age three. So, I mean, it was just that kind of um, thing where you, it's like you really don't have words or you really can't. I was introduced at age four and um, started uh, at the uh, West Memphis Boys Club here in town. And, you know, it just kind of progressed from there stayed there until I was, I think, 12 years old. I met Marcus when I came here in uh, 1990. Marcus was a student in high school, and uh, Marcus was just one of those kids that had an unbelievable personality, tremendously gifted athlete, um, but more importantly, just a fine young man. He came from a fine family. Uh, just was one of those kids that uh, everybody's immediately attracted to. Yeah, I played at West Memphis High School for Coach Larry Bray. But what a lot of people don't know and, and don't realize um, about me is I was a seven foot uh, high jumper. I had the state record, the Arkansas state record at one time. And then I have the FCA record and the um, school record in high jump. I always knew I was gonna find some way to get to college. But once I started with basketball, I was like, this is it. I went to Murray State University in, uh, in Murray, Kentucky, and um, it, it's a it's a really good academic school. I have the highest scoring, uh, 45 points. I have the highest steals in a game, 10. I have the highest um, career average um, in a season, um, and which was I think 21. Points. I'm sorry, 26 points, 26.5, 26.5 points in a season. So um, there are a few records that I have um, there at Murray State. I think as an athlete, um, it, it's always different. Um, it, it's a little different than the average student because you're actually doing two things at one time. <laughs> you're, 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 you're an athlete, um, but first you're, you're a student. Every athlete will tell you his experience um, is, is a learning experience every year, um, every day, because of practice, because of study. Um, it's a grind, but, but they'll, at the end of the day, I think if they're really true to themselves, they'll tell you it's phenomenal. Because you're like, you know, you're like a, a rock star, you know, at an early, you know, at, at a young age. Getting drafted was like, something out of this world uh, because the NBA has 360 jobs and you have about 80 million guys that want to get drafted and for me to come from West Memphis, Arkansas and you know uh, the background that I came from for me to be able to be um, included in 360 I mean was phenomenal God gifted, you know, heaven sent. My NBA career didn't last.
last long. So I had to uh, regroup and uh, I had to do what I've kind of done all my life. And that was my back was against the wall and I had to turn a negative into a positive. And so uh, what I did was just kind of, you know, face the music, look myself in the mirror and say, hey man, you know, go give, go give it your best shot, you know, go do what you love to do. And that's what Europe did. They gave me an opportunity to do what I love to do and that was play basketball without any politics, without any um, flaws and holdbacks. I've won more championships than any other American in Europe. Um, I'm the all-time leading scorer in Europe. You're the all-time leading American scorer in Europe. I've won more MVPs in more countries than any player in Europe, American or Europe. Marcus started out with us as a career coach, uh, working with the students at the high school, which was a perfect fit for him. Such a great program. Yeah, I advise first year students, concurrent students. I advise them on the courses, help them with their uh, career planning, course planning. himself and we're just very excited to have him on campus and hopefully keep him around. He tells me to stay on top and push forward but he'll repeat it over and over again. Students need to really, really think about the decisions that they're about to make, you know, uh, whether it's um, dropping out of school, um, helping them understand or setting up classes that helps them to work in the evening time but still have class time to study um, or evolving, you know, helping them fit their schedule around their, their children, you know, um, being uh, young parents. So um, I definitely think in both aspects, whether, you know, being here at the college or, or being at the high school, um, it's a way of, um, you know, giving back. I know that I did it not just my way, but I did it the right way. Because I think sometimes when you try to do it your way, um, you become narrow-minded and you become, your vision becomes blurred. And to do it the right way will help touch and help people to understand you know, who you really are and what you really were about.